Money starts exploding out of the thing and other oh, craziness and so laptops that start melting and things like that. Hello everyone, welcome to another interview. Today I have someone who's so creative, Noel Quarter. So thank you for coming and doing this. That's quite all right. Thank you. I was genuinely looking around when you said someone creative and I was thinking who else is going to go and sit down. Well, it's not only me, the Magic Circle has awarded you three years in a row Creativity Award. Was that in 2013? 14, 15, 16, 16 I think. Yeah. Got... This man is amazing. You've created a lot of magic products in the magic community, but let's find out how did you get into magic in the first place? I was an odd kid. Um, it's not a massive surprise. <laughs> street, but um, I, um, yeah, the same kind of story, magic sets and bits and pieces. I think the real, the sort of the slight twist I had is I was in Ireland with my folks and I went to a race course and there was a guy there doing three card trick, what we called Chase the Ace, Find the Lady, yeah. three card Monty, mixing cards around and I figured out what he might be doing, I wasn't entirely sure, and I went back and fleeced my mates at school and made some money. Oh. Which that encourages the thirst for knowledge. So you started hustling first and then? A slight bit of hustle, yeah. Okay. And I made a couple of quid and I was like, this is good, and then I carried on really from there. Wow. And this is from the time you went to school and then you, and you, have you ever had a proper job or? Well, I've had several proper oh, jobs. Oh really? Yeah. Not okay. for very long. I've been a professional magician for 17, 18 years, mm -hmm. so. Um, but yeah, I've had several proper jobs in between. And then now your full-time job is magic? Yeah, performing magic, creating magic, okay. and advising. Creating magic, that's very important. So not only you're a good performer, but you also create magic. So let's talk about creativity. Could you learn something like this? Yeah, absolutely. I think creativity is a muscle. You need to work okay. it. So that's right. the most important thing. So for magicians, the most important thing for me is don't just look within your world. Mm -hmm. So if you were just reading magic books and if you're just speak to other magicians you can't possibly create. So open your eyes, look at movies, fashion, music, the world around you, comics, what's trending, what's cool. So magicians often are very, very lazy. They'll think, oh, I'm gonna do a little packet trick with, uh, with something about a reference from five or 10 years ago or something like that. What's current today? What's yeah. important today? But it doesn't have to be about those things. It can be about anything, but just open your eyes to the world around you. That's the first that's hottest tip. such a good point such a good tip that's the point i keep addressing on this channel to everyone try and look for things out of magic but then you said you got into the techie stuff quite recently yeah absolutely so in the last few years i've um started performing more yeah as a tech side of things so my background is being a general close-up magician so someone mm -hmm. that would be out fridays and saturdays yeah uh, putting plastic blocks in people's hands <laughs> and now i moved more into um, doing the techie stuff for the last few years so I do close-up magic, but I mix it with technology. So iPads and phones and things like that. I've also got a character act that I do where I turn up at the event and it's, I suggest I'm from tech support and I've come to oh. update their firmware on their phones and chaos ensues. Their phone explodes and smoke starts wow. pouring from it. So it's a bit sort of Basil Fawlty and uh, Doc from Back to the Future, that kind of craziness. That is crazy. Great, I did not know that, I genuinely did not know that. So that's something I've been doing, yeah, for the last sort of year or so I've been working on that and that's wow. uh, something I'm very excited about, yeah. It's uh, something that's, very different. Because it's unique, exactly. Yeah. There's so many magicians out there, but to book you, that's different, oh. Yeah, so that's something that I, it's it's a mixture of sort of the comedy waiters and a funny thing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, but there's some strong magic, but they don't realize they're watching magic. Yeah, and when you true. identify as a magician, they go, oh, okay, I get what this is about. It's a roller coaster, yes, but if yes. someone, there's a bit of prank show about mm. suggesting that you're, you've come to update their phones because at a corporate event they think, what now? Now head office think this is a good idea that yeah, yeah. My, my phone should be upgraded or, or they want, I want to have a, um, a, a tutoring on, on some aspect of the mobile phone yeah. and then crazy things happen. Oh, that's great. So where could people see these? Have you got videos on there? Or? Uh, yeah, so the iPad stuff you can see um, on my website, which is ipad-magician.co.uk. Okay, so that's a different... Uh, website to your current yeah, website. Yeah, so uh, okay. I got the domain, um, regular domain name, but uh, is still there. But uh, if you want to see the techie stuff, it's on ipad magician.co.uk. Okay. I will put all these links in the video description below. So if you want to see these links, have a look at just below this video, you'll see that. And is that what you do at the moment? Are you are you very busy with that work? I mean, it needs to be marketed, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you get the marketing, but of course, people are always looking for something different. That's yeah, the most important sure. thing. People want see what's the most exciting thing and if you if someone's seen a close-up magician right. before they know the yeah. impact and the excitement of it yeah whereas if you say to them okay imagine the impact and excitement but, but imagine with a little bit of a twist and certainly for brands yeah if you've got a company you can suggest that logos can be produced from there and oh, all the kind of interpretations 
So it's not just about, it doesn't just stop with a car trick, you can have the branded association yeah. which has got real impact. This is the whole business, you should have people, do you, ha you actually have people working with that character or is it just you? That's no, it's just me, I mean I've got ideas of possibly doing installation, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I mean, you know what magicians are like, so yeah. I'm not that uh, keen to give them that much of an idea. I but see, I see, okay. Um, there is a, so I've got installation ideas where mm -hmm. I'll suggest that it'll be in the environment that they're having the drinks at, so let's say there's a, but what looks like a cash point that's built in and suddenly oh. uh, money starts exploding out of the thing and other oh, craziness and so laptops that start melting and things like that are on fire that are suddenly there so just random stuff that are no longer looking at like a magic trick but you just go up to it and you think oh wow I had no idea that was gonna happen. Oh this is this is you need to do some social media stuff with this because these things can go viral. Yeah you know I'm gonna that's that's, that's uh, the plan, starting right? to do that and pushing that. So. Oh that's great. Where could people see you? Oh. So live, as there isn't really a, uh, a venue to go and see me okay. doing uh, walk around magic uh, because most things are private and, and corporate right. events. Yeah, but um, they can see me uh, my Instagram account, which is at the iPad Magician. Okay, so you can see some magic on there. Okay, some other bits and pieces on there. But live, book me is probably the answer. Oh, that. There isn't that's, really. that's 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 a good point because a lot of people have said that you they only do they don't do any residencies. Yeah. all they do is private bookings. So if you want to see Noel, you've got to book him. And Show me the money. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's great. But that's that's seriously, I did not know, and I try not to, to find out too many things because I want this interview to be fresh for me too at the same time so I can genuinely ask these questions. And that was really interesting. I'm definitely going to check you out for sure after this interview. But if you guys had a wonderful time, give a little like on this video, maybe comment something, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.